So the new revamp Yin Song Xing is finally here, and like always, I have to try right away. This new Yin Song Xing is more like a fighter marksman, quite similar to Roger. His new skill sets are extremely good right now, I will explain them in detail throughout the video. This is the build I'm using. With the new passive, I will recommend using the marksman emblem and increasing the critical chance and damage. His passive allows Yi Song Xing to switch between melee and range depending on the distance from the target. But now, every time he changes form, his next two basic attacks will be enhanced, and those attacks are critical damage, and they also reduce the cooldown of his first skill. His turtle ship is still available, and I think it's pretty much the same as the old one. His first skill allows him to dash forward. He becomes immune to crowd control while dashing and gains 30% damage reduction for 1 second, very similar to Cho's old second skill. His second skill is kind of still the same, but the difference is that after he casts this skill, it will activate his passive, so the next two basic attacks will be enhanced after using this skill. His ultimate also remains the same. When you use it, it would hit all the enemy's heroes 3 times in a row. It will inflict physical damage and slow them down. So with the new revamp Yin Song Xing, what you really have to pay attention is his new passive and how to maximize his enhanced basic attacks. Throughout this game, you will see that I will try my best to keep switching between melee and range to inflict the maximum damage in the shortest period. You should not play him like a marksman anymore. He's more like a fighter. You have to constantly switch form to bring his full potential. This Valor is being toxic for no reason, but just ignore that. In this game, you'll be able to see how strong the new Yi Song Xing truly is. I will recommend maxing his second skill first, because this way you can clear wave almost instantly which leads to farming and moving around the map faster. ご視聴ありがとうございました Remember, when you're playing against Lancelot, don't just run right away. Try to stay as close as possible, so you can sidestep his second skill a lot easier. Always try to start the fight with his second skill, so you can inflict a good chunk of damage right from the start.
Whenever you see that your teammates are fighting, you can use his ultimate to provide assistance. Don't be afraid of fighting in close range. Remember, right now he's more like a fighter. Just don't forget to keep switching between melee and range. With his new passive, he can take objective a lot faster. The enhanced attack also affects Taurus as well. The best and faster way to switch forms and maximize his passive is by using his first skill smartly. When you're in melee or range form and you already use his two enhanced basic attacks, then use the first skill to either get closer or put some distance between you and the target. Remember, this is my first game after a new revamp, but after this game, it became very clear to me how to use him properly. I truly believe this new Yi Song Xing is extremely strong. He can clear wave very fast, and when in a team fight, he hits like a truck. Also, with his new passive, he can take objectives extremely fast, and he also has an AoE ultimate that can help him get a lot of assists, provide full vision of the enemies, and inflict a significant amount of damage. And don't forget that he can dash very frequently thanks to his new passive. This hero doesn't lack anything. Probably he might get nerfed soon. Fog 
国に忠義を尽くすべきです我が国の領地を奪う敵は許さんぞ海の底で眠れ国の大事なり国に忠義を尽くすべきです兵とは国の大事なり I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.